guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nolina Costa and today I wanted to share with you guys something that, uh, I have gotten a lot of people have requested on my inbox some of you have come asking me to connect you guys with a white man and how to date or how rather to do online dating so basically that's what I want to talk about and share with you guys some of the tips about online dating and how you can get a partner on the online platform. Back in 2016, if I can remember, is when I started doing online dating. And at uh, that moment, I used to be... I used to have just cleared uh, university and I was looking for jobs. I was starting my career and I was all over. Like I didn't have time to go out there and meet with someone and date. So the only time I had was go online probably when I'm after a job or when I'm free and look for people that just to talk. That time I just wanted friends to talk with, to share, you know, or someone just to talk to. And uh, I happened to have like a few dating sites I knew and from a friend. Uh, one of those was like, I can't remember all of them, but one was tagged, another one was Cupid, another one was Tinder. I guess those are the basically one that I used to use. And unlucky, I didn't meet anyone there, but I got to get to, be, I got to meet very few friends, people that were usually even friends on the social media. And yeah, you can get good people just because it didn't work for me on the dating site. It can work for any other person. For me, for those who have not watched, you can see the link below on the description box. I talked about how I met my husband on the previous video. So I would love to connect all of you guys with a white guy. But it's not that easy. It's not easy that it seems, you know. I will look for a person. Uh, for example, I had a person here who is my husband's friend and wanted a black queen, you know. So we, I sent him some of the photos of my friends, you know, some of the friends that I know that are single is in Kenya and looking for a partner. And he was like, oh, they're very cute. I want this one, you know, a specific one. And please kindly connect me with her. And I sent the details. They started talking. A week later, I checked on my friend and asked her, how is, how is the, you know, how is the going? And she was like, imagine the guy has never texted me again, you know? And I don't know what happened. I don't know if the, the guy didn't like the lady or the lady didn't like the guy or they couldn't just connect, you know? That's the main part. You have to connect with someone. You have to like that someone. But that doesn't mean there are no malicious people out there first of all you're going to get good people you're going to get liars you're going to get perverts and you're going to get catfish so be careful i don't know how you're going to know if a person is a good person or is a liar or is a pervert or is you know a catfish basically you just have to use your instinct learn to use your instinct if your instinct tells you this person is not a nice person don't do it don't go there or just because a friend worked in this direction, it might work for you. Yeah, try it. But use your instinct. Learn to learn people. You know, if that's the word. Listen to people how they're talking. If someone comes to your inbox and tells you, send me a nude. Why would you continue chatting with such kind of a person? You know? If someone comes and tells you, let's hook up. Let me give you a secret. If you're going to hook up with a person, don't just go and hire a table and sit there and wait for them. No. Have earphones with your phone. Go to that place you're hooking up with a person. Sit somewhere in a corner. Let them come in. You see them. If you sit a catfish, walk out and cut communication immediately. You know? Someone on the, on the, on the platform will be young. You know, maybe they posted a photo when they were 20. And then when you go to meet them, they are 70s or even 80 years old. And you wonder what you know what did you see or someone is using a, a friend's photo or son's photo you know you just have to be careful out there so 
I wouldn't like recommend anyone to go on the online dating site with a catfishing photo. Be open. Write your description on what you want from a person. You know, be honest. Be open. You know, if you are open out, there are high chances that you're going to get another open person because when you video call or when you chat, you will feel the same connection because in this dating site, you're going to sit either right or left. Right is a person that you can connect with and you'll be told it's a match or it's not a match. Left is a person that you did not like at all. So you have to be very, very cautious when you go out there and the person that you want to connect with. Basically for me, like the description was I wanted a Christian person, someone who's open, someone who's friendly, someone you can talk to, you know. Those are some of the things that I was looking in a person. It doesn't mean that you also looking for that. You are looking probably for another person. Another thing that I would, I would tell people out there, stop having a mentality about you're going to get a rich white man or a rich partner on the platform. They are there. Some of them have money. Some of them do not have money. Look for connection. Well, you can't buy love. You can't buy happiness. You know, you can't just go and say, you know, I just want a rich person. I'm okay with that. As long as he's rich, he has money, you know. You go to a person who is rich, but he'll be beating you up every day. He will be leaving you in the house like a prisoner. He'll be locking you up and beating you up, raping you, you know, doing some of other bad things or even selling you out, you know. Have you heard of these, these people who are sold in human trafficking and in sexual assault cases? Yeah, we have had so many cases here on the internet. If you've been watching, you can watch a show about Lin Ngohi talking about people who have been abroad, being assaulted, you know. So don't go out there looking for a partner that you personally want, who has money, who has something, you know, something you, you wouldn't want to wish for someone else. Just look for a partner who you have connection with, someone you can sit down, talk with, someone you, you can bond with, not necessarily on other things, but communication these small small things you wouldn't even imagine on a person either it's a white person either it's a black person go there with an open mind you will meet these people yeah but don't go there thinking i have a specific intention and i have this specific thing i'm looking for and that's what i'm going to get there are no perfect people out there my dear all people have you know they have their disadvantages they have their limits yeah Someone will be so nice on the internet, but when you meet in the in the person, they're someone else, they're different. Get to know them also, yeah? So that's some of the things that I would advise people out there who are dating on the online, who are looking for a partner. Stop telling your friends also, connect me. I will connect you, yes. But I won't tell you that that person is a husband material, or that person you will go far with, you know? Because I don't know who the partner is looking for. I don't know what you're looking for. I'll tell you just a recommendation. This, part, this person is nice. But he might be nice to me because he's a friend. But when it comes to you, he's an animal. Probably someone you wouldn't want. That's the way they say. One man's meat is another man's poison. So, that's my advice. Please, please. I want to help a lot of people out there. And I would love to connect them to have a white man. Yeah? But just know, the difference between a white man and a black man is a skin color. Nothing much. Nothing else. So you want to meet these people? Go out there on the social platform. Currently, we have TikTok. We have YouTube. Yeah, comment on my YouTube channel there. Someone will just see your picture and be excited about it. And, you know, just comment to you and start communicating with you. Instagram. Yeah. Dating sites. They are there. There's so many other even coming up. Just go to them, be open, be honest, and most importantly, pray about it. Tell God you're out there. You know, right now there's COVID. You, I wouldn't just say you will go to a coffee center and meet everyone there. No, everyone is scared to go outside because of the disease. So online platform is a nice platform to meet people. Yes, but be honest. High chances if you're honest, you're going to meet an honest person. Yeah, so that's all I would advise someone who is looking for a partner on the online platform i hope the information was really helpful to someone out there and going to help someone in the online platform